In this video, we're gonna take a look at WeVideo, the online video editing platform, and work out if it's the best online video editor for you. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything that we cover in this video, you'll find linked in the description below. So let's jump into it. Now there's a few options out there when it comes to creating and editing your videos online. And there's a few disadvantages and advantages with each. In this video, we're gonna take a look at WeVideo. We're gonna cover my favorite features and work out whether it's the best solution for you. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna cover what I think is the most powerful feature in WeVideo and how you can use it to take your videos up a notch in efficiency and production right away. So starting off with the advantages or the stuff that I like about it. As a video editor in general, it's actually a really, really powerful, really intuitive, really easy to use video application, video editing application. So the biggest advantage beyond that is it actually runs in the cloud or runs in your web browser. So you don't actually need to have a powerful computer. You don't need to install any software. All the hard processing or number crunching is all done at their end because it's all edited online. So that is a huge benefit. So not only is it an awesome editor, it's something that you don't need to have a powerful computer to be able to use. The flow on advantages from that mean that because it is an online cloud-based editing solution, that you can actually get your team or your clients or really anyone involved in the editing process to be able to get quick feedback and to be able to share project files and footage and video assets really, really easy in a team or larger than one person environment so that you can really get your videos dialed in and edited efficiently and quickly. So how the collaboration works is you can either give access to your media files or your media assets, your video footage, your music and templates so that they can use those and create videos for you or you can give them access to your timelines and share access between timelines or video projects and work on them collaboratively, which means that they might start the edit, you can then jump in and make some changes, then it could go back to them for finishing. So the whole workflow of being online and sharing project files and projects themselves and timelines themselves is a massive, massive feature. The process of getting your footage up into WeVideo for editing is really, really seamless and really, really powerful as well. You can directly import videos from places like Dropbox or Google Drive or Box. You can actually even import media files from social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook as well. So they make it really, really easy for you to get your video files in. But they also make it really, really easy to get your files out after you've completed editing or making changes to your videos. When you're ready to save out or to export your video files, you've got options for 720p, 1080p, and 4K as the quality of the export. We can also export directly then to places like Vimeo, YouTube, Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, and even direct to Facebook as well. And the beauty of this is that you don't need to download your completed video file to your computer and then re-upload it to one of these locations. As they're all online services, the files stay online, which means that you don't need to download your files and then wait for them to re-upload to each of these platforms, which is really, really cool. The next thing that I like about WeVideo that I just touched on there was it supports 4K videos. It supports 4K video files for you to upload and edit right through to export. So that's really cool. There are some other services out there at the moment that will allow 4K upload, but your end video files, you'll still be capped at exporting at 1080p. So to have access to a complete end-to-end -end solution for 4K videos right through from import to export, that's really powerful. And it's something that's really amazing that is done all through the cloud as well. The next feature is something that I think is really, really game-changing, especially in this space. And that's having the ability to be able to edit your video files while they're uploading. So you open up WeVideo, you're importing your footage into your timeline, you select the videos that you want to import or to upload, they start uploading and you get direct access to start editing those videos, it uses your local versions of those files while they're uploading. The moment that the upload has finished, it automatically switches over in your timeline to use the uploaded version, which means then that you can pick it up and continue editing on any of your devices or any of your team members or anyone that you've given access to can keep working on your project from there. So that is an absolute game changer when it comes to online video editing. 
We've even tested this out using 4K 100 megabit files from a Panasonic GH4, from the camera that I'm using right here. And the upload was quick, so obviously we had good internet at our end, their servers were quick, the whole process was seamless, and we even put it through its paces and we disconnected the hard drive. We actually closed, we video, we unplugged the hard drive before the upload had finished. And what I thought was really powerful then was when I opened up WeVideo, it recognized that the file hadn't finished uploading and it forced me to go and look for that file, locate that file so it could continue the upload so that it could be used in the project. So it's the little things, but that's a huge, huge feature that will save a heap of time on the video production process. So as you can tell, I'm pretty excited about WeVideo. I think it is the future of video editing. It may not have all the features there of something that you'd find in Adobe Premiere right now, but it doesn't need it. It has an awesome offering to enable you to create some really, really great video content, even in 4K, seamlessly using devices or laptops or computers that aren't as powerful as what you would normally need to be able to edit those files. It's really come a long way and it's growing fast. Some of the other really cool features include really powerful built-in effects and there's a heap of transitions in there as well. But the effects, like the green screen effect was something that really blew me away. I've been doing a lot of work with green screen. You've probably seen a heap of videos on this channel about green screen. But editing green screen videos using Wii Video was something that I thought probably it would do an okay job and nothing really special. It actually did a much better job than some much higher paid, more professional, what you would think editing programs have done. So the green screen effect alone was something that really blew me away, but the effects in general and the way that everything is so intuitive and so easy to find and navigate and apply in your videos is something that is definitely worth checking out because I'm sure if you try it, you won't be disappointed with Wii Video. Now this definitely isn't a paid promotion. It may seem like it. I'm pretty pumped on Wii Video because of where I've seen it come from, where, where it was a couple of years back to where it is now is just awesome and the innovation that these guys have and the amount of features that they're constantly adding but it's not just bells and whistles these are features that actually make your video production process much much quicker and i will jump to the biggest feature or the biggest tool that i think is going to be a game changer with we video moving forward very shortly before I get to that, it's also really important to note that you can also do screen capture in Wii Video directly from your web browser, and you can do video recording through your webcam as well. So this brings it up in line then with what you can do with software like ScreenFlow and Camtasia. So if you're gonna be doing videos where you're gonna be recording your screen like a presentation, or you wanna talk directly to your computer and to your audience that way, then this allows you to do it directly from your web browser as well. I'm definitely not covering off all the features here in this video. I'm just looking at the standout features for me as someone who likes to edit efficiently and speed up the editing process. What are the best tools? The tools that everyone should be looking for when they're testing and trialing and using their editing software. So there's a heap of other things in there as well, like important things that you'd expect to find, like to be able to create slow motion versions of your videos or to slow down and speed up your clips. All of that is in there as well. But the most important thing to realize here is that typically for an online cloud-based editing program like Wii Video, your internet speed would be the barrier. And I know that we did a video a while back talking about cloud-based editing solutions. You can check out the video linked up here now. And the biggest thing is the internet speed. If your internet speed isn't good, then your whole editing experience and getting your files up into the platform is going to be very hard and very restricted and frustrating. So I really like that WeVideo have taken the time to give you alternatives or, or to put things in place to help you speed up that process and remove the pain. And that's something that none of the others have done. So being able to start editing your video files while they're uploading is a huge, huge step forward. I can't stress this enough. When I saw that this feature was there, uh, it really makes makes you consider this for a lot more video editing projects as well. I know in the original video, the one I just linked up, we said that this wouldn't be suitable for things like documentaries or larger form projects. And it was purely based on the internet speeds and the amount of time it would take to get all that content up there. But if you're able to start working on your project while the upload is happening in the background, then it does open it up for larger form projects as well especially with the major benefit of being able to collaborate on those larger projects with your team anywhere in the world, 
based on it all being stored in the cloud. So that's something that I'd like to have as an update in there. I think that's a really, really powerful feature uh, and, and really it's something that's, yeah, that, that blew me away that it was there. So those are all the things that I really, really like about Wii Video. Actually, there's one more feature that I'm gonna mention in a minute uh, that I also think is a real game changer and is gonna really improve your video production process and how your videos look as well. But as for the things that I think aren't quite there yet, there's two of them. The first is the color correction capabilities. Now really, if you're filming everything right and you got your lighting right and everything, then the color correction you'll need to do will be minimal. So the built-in color correction in Wii Video is good, but it's not great. You get control over your brightness, over your contrast and your saturation and your hue, or the actual color, overall color of the image, which is what you would expect to find in basic video editing software. So I guess I'm really nitpicking here, but it would be absolutely awesome if there was some more advanced color correction tools. I know that there's built-in effects as well. You can apply filters as if you would on Instagram or another social platform. But as for color correction, I think this is the one place that we video is lacking, but it's not really a big deal. As I said, most people, these tools will be enough to get great results. But with the rest of the features that you're seeing in we video now, you actually start to compare we video to higher up and more professional video editing platforms like Final Cut and Premiere. And I think the biggest thing that they have that Wii Video is missing or is, is on the lacking side a little bit is the color correction. But the other thing is the playback. And because you are playing back your video files when, you, when you're editing using your browser and using the cloud, they're actually generating what's called a proxy file or a low resolution file. Now, this all adds to the performance and makes it quick for you to edit and makes everything seamless and work really, really well. But the downside is, is that the quality of the preview isn't there like so if you want to get really into the finer details and really see a true representation of what you're actually editing then the video that you're shown when you're playing back your videos is a much lower quality than what your end result will be so this is all well and good for most videos but when you're applying things like the green screen effect or you're making color adjustments or adding on any other effect where you really want to see what it looks like as the highest quality output, like what the end product is going to look like pixel for pixel, then that's where I think the Wii Video playback and using proxy files falls down a little bit. Now there is a way around it. You can do a preview or an export of that section to see what it looks like so that you're not totally left in the dark until you've done your final export. But it would be nice to have some sort of option or control to preview a high quality or a full quality version of that video at that point, whether it's just a single frame to make sure that everything is how it looks or just a small chunk of your video, then that would be probably on my wish list for editing in Wii Video, but definitely not deal breakers. Really seriously jump on and give it a go because I'm sure you'll be blown away with what you can do. The fact that you can now edit 4K video files and, and professional videos using a Chromebook and using devices that really have not much power in them is really, really awesome. Now in regards to the one feature that I said I'd share with you that is a real game changer that I haven't mentioned so far in this video, it's a new addition to Wii Video and it really is a game changer. It's something that's going to help you produce videos faster and have really professional looking videos. And that's the new title tool. Now this is something that on sort of entry level video editing software, I'd stay well clear of. But what we video are actually doing and what they're building here is something that's pretty awesome. You can now drop in motion titles or animated titles directly into your projects without having to use software like After Effects or Apple Motion to be able to create yours and then bring it in and go through all those logistics. You can actually just drag and drop awesome motion title graphics onto your videos directly in Wii Video. And you can customize them up as well. You have the ability to change the colors, move everything around and really tailor them up for your brand. And this is something that is a new addition to Wii Video and I think it is the most powerful feature because titles are something that a lot of people just take for granted, but they're not in most video editing software. We've got videos on how to create them in Adobe Premiere and how to, how to create them in Final Cut. And these are big videos that take you through step by step how to do it. I mean, if you're looking for that, there's a link up there, but 
the fact that this is in WeVideo and that it's how easy it is and the way that they've implemented this and made it so seamless and logical to be able to create titles in there and titles that look good and aren't those cheesy, really cheap looking titles. These guys have put some time into researching the ones that people want, the ones that people are using and the level of customization and control that you would want when you're adding titles to your videos. They've also got a video which we will put a link in the description showing you how they've used this feature to really create some really cool looking videos and titles just using this title tool in WeVideo. So it's really powerful and you've got the ability to stack titles on top of one another so that you can easily build things like checklists or have your video made completely of animated titles. So in regards to pricing, you've got three options. There is a free option, there is a $4.99 per month power plan, and there's also a $7.99 per month unlimited plan. So this is something that's definitely not gonna break the bank. And when you look at all the features and the tools that you get access to, it's really insanely cheap. So now that we've covered off the advantages and the disadvantages, who is WeVideo good for? Well, I think WeVideo is an awesome online editing application for anyone that's looking to create videos fast, who is looking to create videos on the go and be moving around, someone who doesn't wanna spend the money on a huge video editing system, something really, really powerful, and be paying huge monthly subscriptions for software like Adobe Premiere or paying an outright fee for something like Final Cut. So your barrier to entering, your barrier to creating videos is much, much simpler and cheaper if you opt for something like WeVideo. And you've got all the features and the tools that you'd expect to find in much more expensive software. If you're gonna be creating videos using really professional cameras, then I don't think WeVideo is for you yet. But for everybody else, I'd suggest that you at least get a free account and give it a go. Cause you'll probably find that some of the videos you're creating, WeVideo will be the perfect solution for. So those are my thoughts on WeVideo. If you found this video helpful, then make sure you click that big subscribe button if you haven't already, and give this video a thumbs up and check out the video linked on screen now to our video where we talk about online video editing solutions and why you should use them. I'll see you soon.